Hello and welcome my friends to managerial accounting. Specifically, we're going to be doing job order costing. It could be a very difficult concept at per at first. <laughs> at first, but once you understand it, you're going to want to be doing this for just about everything that you do in your lives. So, let's take a look. So we got to learn how to record the materials, right? There's a flow of items, right? We have to buy things, we have to make them, we have to sell them. Buy, make, sell. Simple process, right? Let's see how simple it gets. So here we have an example of three jobs, 27, 28, and 29. So we want to keep a job cost record of each individual job, meaning any different type of order that we get. We want to record those specific items. So here you can see we have direct materials, direct labor, and manufacturing overhead. That'd be nice if they just give us those numbers, but they don't. But let's keep on and look at the flow. So costs incurred at each job are added to the work in process. That is a debit because it's coming in to the work in process inventory. Now, let's say we start making products. Our cost of good manufacturer is going to tell us how much um, it costs to make it. Quick quiz, what is cost of good manufactured? You should probably have that formula written in your cheat sheet. So once the actual job is completed, that's where we're going to move it to finished goods. Now, how do we get cost of goods sold? Well, you have to sell the product, right? Once you sell the product, aha, now you can take the remaining, that, that item and the remaining balance becomes your cost of goods sold. So you have to make it, you have to, I'm sorry, buy it, make it, and then you have to sell it. Uh, I hope this isn't too confusing so far. Let's take a look at the actual example. So we need to buy materials. Here we have an example where our beginning balance is already $70,000. So we already have $70,000 of whatever it is we're making in our raw materials. So, but we need to buy $367,000 of materials on account to go and fulfill this particular order. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to go ahead and debit our raw materials inventory. Why? Because it's coming into our inventory. And what's it getting pulled out of? That's right. It's a liability. And that liability is going to be accounts payable. We have a vendor that we got to pay. That makes sense, right? So far, so good. That, my friends, is step one. I'll see you in step two.